Hi guys, I hope you are pretty well. So in this video, I try to figure out how to make a very decent looking new pixel clock for decorate your room. So over here, this is the new pixel clock and see here, this is the clock. This red LED determine the hours and the green LED determine the minute and obviously the blue LED for a second. Even this clock has a lot of effect. You can see, I hope you can see, mm, you can see. Our guys, this new pixel clock you can build just within a thousand rupees. I hope this is a pretty big deal for decorate your room. So I don't want to waste your time. Let's do it. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is one of the most popular PC making company in China. Here you can order all kind of two to six layer PCB at very low price. Even in different color, that too completely free. But the heaviest news is that it is in SMT order. JLCPCB produce SMT plate more accurate and more precise. So definitely you can order your SMT plate with your PCB. And I hope you know guys how important SMT plate are for SMT soldering. So guys without wasting any more time, today order your SMT plate with your SMT PCB. Link is in the description box as always. Before making this decent gate looking new pixel clock, let's understand actually how this is work in a very easy way. Very first in order to make it you need an Arduino. Here I am using Arduino Nano as you can see. With that obviously you need an RTC module to store time and date for when you have no power. But before beginning first you need to connect every connection in very decent way. So at first I look up to the power for Arduino to RTC module. Next for the communication SDA and SCL pin. At the end for the output result I am using here new pixel which is WH2812. See this new pixel, this is quite popular and if you want to know how to work this kind of new pixel, then I will tell you every new pixel has an input pin and output pin. The first LED pixels output pin goes to another LED pixels input pin. In the same way 60 LED wire connected and making them an addressable LED. That makes sense, right? So next I connect this LED strip with my Arduino Nano with digital pin 6, even 5 volt. But use a separate power supply for this LED because your laptop does not handle this lot more current, right? And next I connect this USB cable to Arduino Nano and see this is the final code. And this code you will find in the description box as you always get. So finally I upload this code as you can see this code is being uploaded. And after a few seconds later, then you can see my LEDs are responding like a analog clock. This is quite looking good. So my clock is ready. But this LED strip does not make any sense if you have not any clock type frame. So that is why I try to design a PCB and see here I am using Atmega 328P Deep IC and 1307 RTC. This is really easy. When everything is done a very pretty way, then I upload this PCB on JLC PCB website. This is quite popular and reliable website that you know, right? So in my case, today I am using black color PCB. And after 7 days later, I receive my parcel and see this is the PCB. This PCB really looking very good. And I hope my clock will work exactly what I want. So finally, let's try to do something different with this PCB. Very first, I try to remove all new pixels from this strip because the main question is the low price. So I used my blower to remove all LEDs. In this way, you can remove all LED with zero damage. And after removing every LED, I gather it. And after then, I mount one LED with my PCB because I have to check if everything is okay or not. And after attaching this new pixel, now time to put the main component. So at first, I mount Atmega 328P IC and after then RTC. Then this encoder for time setting and more options. Okay, after then I put this RTC battery, next I attach 5V DC plug in it. Now you can see this single LED is blinking and that signal is everything is working like okay. So now I may proceed with remaining LEDs. So in this procedure you may waste a lot of time because you never want to destroy your LED. After soldering every LED you can see now this time look like this and see my clock is working very well as I expected. Even here you can see a lot of effect are available for you. So as you can choose as your choice. So guys this is today's short video. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you learn something new from this video then subscribe to my channel 
and if you not then you can dislike this video see you in the next one